what I've done is to curve is to draw out the, the three different kind of curves. We have the linear curve, which is the the purple line that you see over here. The linear curve, I will also use it to explain both the linear function and the logarithmic function, because in the log function, we are embedding the log function within the equals within the, the math itself and within the input of the math and not the output of the function. So that means we use log function in the consideration of designing this math function, but in the output of the math, there is no log function involved. So I will use this purple line that you see over here to talk about the linear function and the log function. The green line is the power function, and the orange line that you see over here is the sigmoid function. Okay, so let's, let's get started with the, the simpler one first, which is the linear function. You can see the linear function. I'm using really big numbers to give you an understanding. I can use small numbers as well if you want. Okay, so let's get started with this token supply and these curves. We start off with the purple one, and the purple one shows a direct relationship between supply and pricing. And if you see, it's just a straight line. So as the supply increases, the pricing also increases. Compared to the other curves, you can see that the orange one kind of just as I zoom out, the orange one kind of just levels up, out at a specific amount, whereas the green one also increases, but increases at a different gradient, different curve, different shape. So let's talk a little bit more about the shape of the, the, the function, the purple one. Right now, what we are seeing is just a very direct relationship. We can change this a bit more by making it steeper or flatter by changing one of this function. Right now, I'm using you know, a bit more complicated function, which is y equals something. You can make it simpler, which is y equals um, x, or y equals x plus 1, which gives you different kind of functions. But a bit more complicated, because I'm also looking at this function. This is an output function for Bancor's math, or Bancor's conversion math function. And it has different uh, log, log involved. And that's why you have these different powers at above to give you the relationship. So if we change these, if we change the, the different power function, or we change the different powers, then you can see that the gradient of the curve changes. And you can also, you know, make it make it more flat or, or more curved. And and that is basically it. You can you can have a stronger or or weaker co correlation and by that I mean when you have increased more increase in you can change the gradient the, the, the curve the, the curve degree and when you have more change in supply you can have less increase in the, the token pricing so that's one of them